谢谢嗯、呃、李小姐嗯、呃、，I think we we thank our two speakers. Actually, it's because of time. If they have more time, you will get much more from their talks. But you can read up their、uh, PPT and also the the talk from Japan. It's very fruitful reading. You can get a lot more out of it. So if you have time after the、uh, after the conference, please make use of the of their talks because their experience is really very good. From what they have shared, we can see that they really have struggled. They have struggled from the beginning to establish something for women who are victims of violence. Both Japan and Korea, they well, in、um, Korea is 15 years, in Japan is even longer. And even after there was legislation, you know the mentality. Or the mindset did not change. There was still this not understanding that really women must be respected. Women are not people to be beaten. So this is what they have shared. But they have also shared that um, um, I think Japan has shared that Beijing and the United Nations the legislation. Had helped them, which is good. I think if UN knows about it, and you know the Beijing Forum after that, well, it will help many countries because it will help women. It will at least help the people to have a different mindset towards women, and that's what Korea is hoping that we would、um, have a different world, a better world, which means a world. Where people respect that women are persons, women must be respected. Women has a place in society, and this is the message that the two of them have very strongly brought forward. When there was no law, they struggled. They went, and as.、Um, Japan is and don't share. The men don't like women. When you talk of women being better, well, they don't look at you. They don't want to give you money, but they still continue to do it. So it's not. It was not easy, and it's not over a period of one year, two years. It was over a period of many years. So with that, I think. We really have to say a big thank you to Japan and Korea because they have really worked for women. We thank them, Sherry. Um, both have started the network. One is sixty-seven. Um, what you would say, organizations all together, which means the whole country coming together. And the other one, which、um, later on、um, uh, Miss Lee explained, Shimto is not only the hotline but also the shelters. So we also feel that they have started their networking and they want to continue their networking. And this networking within the local area is very important because that will also. Help in the Asian context. We want to have an Asian、um, networking, but within the country, we also enrich each other so that the influence will reach even to the poorest woman. Everyone will be helped. Well,、um, I just share a little bit. Incidentally, accidentally, I should say, we wrote the history of、uh, Good Shepherd. And because we started the first shelter, it is I think in English is page one to seven, and in Chinese is before that. We were luckier. It was the government that decided that they wanted a shelter. 
and it was the, it was the Taipei city government that asked the NGOs to come and you know uh, apply for the shelter, and then we applied and we got it. So we were very lucky to have the government taking the first step. But as yesterday the ambassador shared, he shared that the NGOs walk faster. Why? Because we are with the grassroots. We are with the women. We live with them. So we know their needs. And because of that, but in Taiwan, well, we went to Australia and we organized, um, uh, what you call it, uh, the international conference, or we invited uh, experts from Australia to share on how they have interdepartment cooperation for domestic violence. And the government came and the Department of Law, Social Welfare, Education, Health, Police, they listened to what Australia did and very quickly they decided that they would have an interim or an ad hoc committee to look into the matter and four years later, in 1998, there was legislation. And with the legislation, well, we have the hotline, etc. We have real intergovernmental cooperation. But even before the legislation, we were already cooperating. So in Taiwan, the government works together with the NGOs. The government takes the first step, the NGOs follow. The NGOs make many comments and lobby and advocate, and the government also follow. So we work together very closely together, and we were very lucky in the sense that the government financed quite a number of seminars where we, you know, we shared on how to run shelters. First, we invited from USA, Australia, etc., experts to teach us, and then later on, we ourselves had enough experience and we ran the seminars so that there was also a sharing of experience. But at the same time, I will say, we share the same, uh, we share the same experience, which means sometimes it's not so easy to change mindset. Because men, they always have this inborn superior feeling. Um, how do we try to change it? There are many men who are very concerned. So this is where I think that uh, both uh, Miss Lee and Miss Endo try to bring out, we have to continue to network and to change the thinking the attitude of the men. And I think this morning, Ms. Rana, where is Ms. Rana? She is, um, uh, she also brought out very clearly. She says, we have to get the men to work together with us. If we want them, if we want to improve, we have to be together with the men. So I think that there are men who are very, very concerned and wanting to help together we can help to change this mindset. Now, I leave now the floor open to ask questions because I'm sure there are many questions. So. You only have seven minutes. Yes. Representative from Hong Kong, may I ask, may I ask for um, Tomoko, um, the representative from Japan, um, just uh, or um, Miss Lee, uh, the representative from uh, Korea. Um, I know that education is very important, and for our next generation, any things we can do or which have been done in your country um, to promote gender equality. 
Yes, I want to know more of that. <laughs> Um, what she say is um, the NGOs in Japan, they have been doing a lot for that uh, the gender equality program for the community. However, the local government However, the NGOs, we, uh, we haven't done a lot of work for the uh, civil servant in terms of the uh, gender equality education, which is a work of maybe the task for the next. Uh, <coughs> I am Mashuda Kadam Chupani, I'm from Bangladesh. So my question goes to both of the speakers. Uh, in addition to your shelter support and uh, legal age limits and safety, uh, and working with the government's police, do you have a program to consult with the violators, assaulters, maybe? The Japanese forest, I mean the national forest, they do not want to have any cooperation with NGOs. 